show you how to figure out your custom cut fabric for your specific pattern. So let's jump right in. So on here in the main page, you go to hand embroidery. And um, if we have a pattern online um, that you're wondering about, let's do the 10 commandments. That's the pattern um, that somebody asked me about. And then I realized I didn't have a video about this. So we're going to make one. Okay. So we're just going to find it. It's the 10 commandments by a cross and patch. Um, so, and this works for, this works for any pattern, any hand embroidery pattern. Once you're in the pattern, you'll see over here where it says a little recommended fabric button. Um, you'll click that button. Now this is going to take you over to our fabric and stitchables. It's also going to populate the fabric calculator with everything it needs to know. It's going to put in um, the stitch count, the fabric count, what type of fabric um, it should be done on, how many threads um, the cross stitch is going over, all of that information. It'll already populate it with it. Now, as you can see on this one, the image here is transparent. Now we have done this with several of our images. Um, well, not several, a lot, <laughs> a lot of them, not all of them. We're still working on that. Um, so a lot of them will, will be transparent. This is great because when you click on the fabric, you can now see what it could potentially look like. So this helps in aiding you on picking the right fabric for your project, you know? Um, and so it's really, really great. If the image is not um, been um, made transparent, it'll just have a generic image there that says cross stitch area. Um, so, which is fine. So back up here to um, all the, the fabric calculations. So again, it puts in your width, your height, your fabric calculation. Now you can go through and change it to whatever count of fabric you want. If you want to do it on 14 count ADA. Um, when you change it to 14 count, it will change um, the fabric type to ADA. You can change the fabric type to ADA. Um, so, and then again, it'll populate all the swatches that we have in that size. Um, in the 28 count, you can pick between Jobalons or Linens or Luganas, that kind of thing. Now, we've automatically made it so it'll give you three inches extra all the way around. This is for your border, for stretching, for framing, all that stuff. If you don't want three inches, you can simply go in and zero one of them out or, you know, change the margin. You can do whatever you want there. Then over here, it's going to tell you the design, design size, so the stitch area, um, and then with your extra margins. And then the measurements here is how um, large we will cut the fabric. So once you have a fabric picked out that you like, I don't know, let's see if this one will work. Um, it could work. <laughs> Down here at the bottom, you will see select piece. So you'll select the piece. Now, if we don't have a swatch large enough for your piece, it'll come up and say no swatch large enough. And once that happens and you're sure that's the piece you want, just call us or email me at donnettandamrudy.com or PM me on Facebook and say, Donette, I want da 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 fabric and it, you don't have a piece big enough. I order it in, we call you, we place the order. Totally easy. This one, we've definitely got a piece large enough. So all you simply do, it, I mean, it tells you the size right there. You just simply add the custom cut to your, to your um, order and then you can just follow the checkout process. It's that easy. Okay, so let's go through the process again. Let's grab a pattern that I don't think has been made transparent. Let's see here, this is a brand new cell. So I just thought, hey, we'll grab one of these. Um, so, okay, let's, let's try this one here. Oh, that's a kit. Let's, oh, well, it's still got the thing. Okay, so we're again here in the pattern, recommended fabric, we'll click in it. Um, so this is what it'd look like if the image hasn't been made transparent. So we'll cut the fabric, you know, 17 and a half by 20 and a half. Um, so, you know, and it was it, uh, probably a, a dark fabric would look really good with that piece. Um, you know, you can go through all the dark ones that we carry and pick out your favorite. I love the opalescence, of course. Um, but 
if, um, let's say you are wanting this Aurora one, Enchanted Aurora, right? And we don't have the image transparent, but you're like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable making a decision without seeing it. Again, call me, email me, or PM me, and we can get that image uh, made transparent, and then you can go through the process of figuring out what fabric you want on it. So, okay, well, that is it. Head over to my needlework blog on inverdi.com, um, where I will have links to all of the information I just showed you, as well as a detailed step-by-step -step process. Make sure you have your notifications turned on, as that's how you'll know a new video is up. And as always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!